Locker presets are a cool feature that Fortnite added that could come in handy from time to time. So join me as we look at the sweatiest locker presets in Fortnite. Like and subscribe for good luck. Number 20, the aura with the star wand for your pickaxe and the sun sprout. This is a combo that I'm assuming at least 40% of the people watching this video own. And I say that since the items you need to make the combo are widespread. Because Aura is one of the tryhard skins that used to be insanely popular through Chapter 2, Seasons 2 and 4. It died down a little because many skins everyone wanted to return to the item shop came back. And you can use the Sunsprout with just about any skin that has yellow. Then the Star Wand just tops it off. Number 19, the jungle style of the Zadie skin with the Rainbow Clover and the Harley Hitter. I don't know if it's just me or what, but I think the jungle style of the Zadie is the best option. Then I know everyone's happy that Fortnite brought this skin back to the item shop. You can buy the skin for 1200 V-Bucks, and it only comes out once a year, so hopefully you bought it. And the Rainbow Clover is the perfect color for this style of the Zadie, because the dark green goes really well with the green and brown color combination of the skin. Then if you don't have the Rainbow Clover, it might be returning sometime around March 17th. And while we're talking about stuff players want to return, let's move to number 18. Travis Scott, without a back blink, and the Harley Hitter. This is another set of items that we don't see in the item shop very frequently. The Travis Scott can be bought for 1500 V-Bucks, whenever he's in the shop. And from the looks of it, Fortnite doesn't bring Icon Series skins back out too often. But on the other hand, this is one of the skins that you honestly don't have to run a back bling on because it already looks really good the way it is. And sometimes back blings just won't do anything but make the skin look worse. You gotta compliment them, you know? Number 17, the Chaos Agent with the Black Banner Cape and the Star Wand. This is one of the tryhard skins that you don't run into too often. And whenever you do run into someone using him, they're not going to be using the best combo with him. So here's one that'll make you look good and stand out. Then the Black Banner Cape looks the best on him if you're going to use a back bling, because most back blings don't fit too well with him from the way he's designed. Number 16, the Blue Jade with the Shattered Wings and the Phantasmic Pulse for the pickaxe. Thank God Fortnite didn't make us have to buy the Blue Jade and just gave the players a selectable style for it. Because we all know that's something they would do, and since we're using the Blue Jade, we're going to have to use a back bling that's blue to keep everything on theme. So that gives you no choice but to use the Shattered Wings. The Phantasmic Pulse is a pickaxe that you can customize and make blue or white to go with the skin. It just depends on what color you want to use while wearing the blue jade. Speaking of blue, number 15, the default blue mogul master that's not representing a country with the spectral spine for the back bling and the leviathan axe. This is one of those icy winter style combos that you can sweat with all year round without melting. And since you're using the default mogul, it's best to use a blue back bling on it, if you are going to use a back bling. Then the Leviathan Axe just fits so well with this combo, so you don't have to use the Star Wand on it, but if you missed out on the Leviathan Axe, the Studded would go well with the combo too. Number 14, the Safari without a back bling with the Combat Knife. This combo kind of goes so well together that it could be a bundle, to be honest. Then it looks try hard at the same time on top of that, being a combo that you don't see everyone using, so you could claim it if you're looking for something to main. Then for the ones wondering how to get the Combat Knife, it could have been unlocked from buying Sarah Connor when she was listed. And this is one of the smallest and most unique pickaxes in the game right now, actually. FYI, make sure to watch the full video if you want our combo featured in future videos. Well, let's move on to number 13, the whiteout with the Harley Hitter and Rainbow Clover for your back bling. This is a combo on the list that Mongrel used to use, so you know it already has some tryhard status. Then the whiteout is one of the tryhard skins you'll never catch a noob using. I guess this skin gives players superpowers while using it? You really never know. And if you use the skin and you want it to look sweaty, make sure to remove the helmet, because with the helmet, it's it's not the sweatiest. And we'll use the Rainbow Clover because just generally it takes a combo sweat level from 10 to 20, no matter what the skin is. Number 12. We're going to get a little athletic for this combo and use the new soccer skins with the Wolverhampton jersey and the Sunsprout for the back bling with the Gold Crow pickaxe. This is a combo that matches way too well in my opinion, because everything in the combo has the same yellow in it. Some of the players who own the soccer skins but don't own the gold crowbar might be wondering when this pickaxe is returning. And I'm not going to lie, I don't have the answer for that, but let's hope it returns sometime in the near future. Number 11, the green style of the pit stop with no back bling and the merry minty for the pickaxe. Pit stop is another version of the whiteout that has some differences. And I think it would be cool if Fortnite gave players the option to remove the helmet on the pit stop the same way they did with the whiteout. But unlike the whiteout, this skin is cheaper and can be bought for 1200 V-Bucks whenever it's listed in the item shop, and has a few more selectable styles to choose from. Then the minty looks try hard when using the green style, so go try it out. Number 10, All right, we're gonna change things up a bit and use a battle pass skin that most players actually might own. And the skin that I'm mentioning is the War Strike Lexa with Travis Scott's Cactus Jack Bling and Michonne's Katana. Okay, like, 
how could you use an anime style skin without using a katana? It just feels right. Then since the Lexus style has red and brown in it, that makes the cactus Jack back bling look good with it. Now, the only bad thing about this combo is that the two most essential items are collaboration items that don't appear in the shop a lot. Number nine, the Chinese theme Mogul Master with the Molten Battle Shroud and the Chew Toy Pickaxe. I'm certain some of you will say that the Chew Toy isn't try hard, but it looks good with this skin and could be try hard if more pros were to use it. But this pickaxe can be bought for 500 V bucks, so you don't have to worry about spending a lot of money to get it. And it's a good pickaxe to use when you're tired of using the same items over and over again. And the Molten Shroud looks good with the Chinese Mogul Master because of that color combo. Number eight, the all white superhero skin without a mask and no back bling, then the driver for the pickaxe. Because if you're using this combo, you don't want to use a mask. Let the face show because it looks better with this style, I think. Back blings aren't too crucial on customizable skins since the skin does all the work. And everyone knows that the superhero skins are still very tryhard. And the driver is one of the tryhard pickaxes that's not too flashy and keeps the combo sweaty and straightforward. Number seven, the resistance style of Sarah Connor with the red or black night shield, just depending on which one you own, and the vision pickaxe. Now, if you are one of the OGs who owns both the black knight and red knight shields, why not use both, you know, from time to time, just switch them off. Since this skin has that combat style to it with the, like, the armor, it's best to use the vision axe since it's not very colorful and looks, you know, serious. And the price of the combo is 5,600 V-Bucks, so it's not the cheapest combo of them all, but it could easily be worth it. Number six, so let's change things up once again and use a combo that's newbie and sweaty at the same time. For this combo, you'll need the happy style of kit with the sunsprout for the back bling and the star wand for the pickaxe. And some of you might be saying that the kit is a noob skin. And it could be one, it just depends on how you use it. Then since we're using a sweaty combo on it, that does help it out a little bit. Then this is a combo that looks clean and newbie, so you'll probably make players underestimate you when you're wearing it. Number five, the default style of grind with no back bling and the crowbar. This is a combo that's super tryhard and you won't ever catch a fake noob using it. And grind is one of those underrated male tryhard skins that didn't get the recognition that it should have received. And the price of it is 1800 V-Bucks. The crowbar is a free item that could have been unlocked from completing the high stakes challenges when the game mode was out. Number four, the Sydney FC soccer skin with the spectral spine with the Leviathan axe. This is another combo for all of the blue lovers we got out there because if blue is one of your favorite colors, I know you will like this combo. And the spectral spine can be bought for 1200 V-Bucks when listed and the Leviathan's price is 1000 V-Bucks. Number three, the carbon fiber style of the dummy without a back bling and the victory lap pickaxe. This is another cheap pickaxe, it's not the sweatiest nor most popular, but it's a good item. And it's cheap since its price is only 500 V-Bucks. And it has a small amount of carbon fiber on it that helps it go with the dummy. Then on top of that, it's a car themed pickaxe, and the dummy is a car themed item as well. Then if I'm being honest, you don't need back blings on male skins. Also, if you want your combo potentially featured in a future video, drop it in the comments and leave your epic ID as well. Number two, focus with the spectral spines and the leviathan axe. The Leviathan Axe can easily go well with literally any skin. It's really cool. Like anyway, moving on to number one, the Surf Witch with the Enduring Cape and the Bold Bar. This is one of those combos that's very underrated and would be another combo someone could easily main. Then it looks really good when playing with tryhards because you'll stand out with it since not too many people use these or even own these items. Locker presets are cool and all, genuinely, but if you want to see what your Fortnite skin says about you, Click on the video on your screen or watch this other video. Click. Do it.